Welcome to Everyday Becoding. This is a ASP.NET MVC Tutorial Advanced Developer Guide. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to export ResearView to Excel file without using any third-party library. The output of this following code, this is the specific data and this data came from database table and this is a specific button. When I click on this specific button, the, all the data are exported within Excel file. Okay, so now I am go to my Visual Studio, click on New Project and this is a specific sp.net mbc project and name of this project is reserve view to excel click ok right now i'm creating empty sp.net project click on ok as you can see the solution is created first we need to attach the entity framework so go to the tools menu this is a library package manager go to the manage new get package manager for solution this is a specific entity framework just click on install button click ok as you can see the entity framework version 6.1.3 is installed on your solution okay it will take time to install and download your solution download is done and entity framework is already attached in my solution go to the reference section as you can see this is a entity framework right now i am go to my model folder we need to attach a model okay just go to my blog as you can see this is a specific model the name of this model is tbl salesman this is nothing but a database table just copy this class okay and go to the visual studio click on model folder add new class the name of this class is tbl salesman tbl sales salesman okay hit on add button and paste this following code as you can see this is a specific tables tbl salesman right now i am using a entity framework code first approach just fix some issues this is a using system dot component model dot annotation dot schema and this is a system dot component model dot annotation two namespace are necessary for these attributes okay right now i am go to my blog after that we need to create a specific data context that means salesman db context just copy this class name and go to my visual studio in the model folder i need to create another class file the name of this class file is salesman db context at okay right now i'm go to my blog this is a specific salesman db context copy this code first and go to my visual studio right now i am paste this code after paste this is a db context class just we need to fix some issues this db context class is belongs to using system data entity frameworks okay and this class is contact the database and retrieve the data communicate the database to your application okay here i am using a specific property and the type of this property is db set set of data are retrieved from tbl salesman tables from your database okay and right now i am using this public property i just need a, another class within this model this is a salesman repository just go to my blog this is a specific salesman repository.cs file and go to my visual studio i need to add as a, another class file click on add button create a class name of this class is salesman repository click on add button right now i'm go to my blog this is a specific salesman repository code right now i'm go to my visual studio paste this code and this is a specific salesman repository class and this salesman repository class has a method get salesman this get salesman method retrieve the all the tbl salesman data from your database and return a specific list collection now i'm go to my blog within a blog as you can see we need to attach a specific connection string just copy this connection string and go to my visual studio this is a specific web config files right now i'm attaching the connection string under the configuration tag and paste it here as you can see the name of the connection string is salesman db context as same as the name of salesman db context class by conventionally entity framework serves the connection string the name of this specific db context class there is a salesman db context class and the name of the connection string is salesman db context okay right now i am go to the controller folder add a new controller select mpc5 empty controller click on add button name of this controller is home okay click on add button the home controller is already attached within my solution 
just go to the block as you can see this is a specific controller code just copy this controller code first and go to the visual studio right now i'm paste this code okay as you can see this is a salesman repository class and just fix some issues and this salesman repository class is belongs to using reserve view to excel dot models folder okay and this action method return a set of dbl salesman data from the database by using this method get salesman in the salesman repository class right now we need to attach a specific view of the specific action method the name of this action method is index right click on this specific action method click on add view option and this is a name of this view with this index select the list from this template and this is a strongly type view that's why i am select the specific model the name of this model is tbl salesman and click on add button this is a specific auto generated view is automatically create a visual studio from us okay right now i am change the specific title razor view to excel okay just copy this text again and paste it here okay we need to block some codes this is a specific code i don't need this so that's why i am block this code after that i am block this specific td i don't need this and after that i am block this specific th table header section okay now i am build this application it will success so moment i execute this code we need to go to the sql server management studio this is a specific database db sample and previously i am created for this right now i am delete this specific database close this existing connection and click on okay now the database is deleted now i am go to the visual studio right now i am execute this code so moment i execute this code the name of this specific database within a web config file entity framework automatically create a db sample database from us okay right now i am go to my sql server moment i refresh this database tag as you can see this is a specific db sample database and click on this table tag and this is a specific salesman table but right now this specific table is empty when i right click on the specific table and go to the select top 1000 rows as you can see the table is empty so we need to attach some sample data i am already type some script now i am execute this script okay this execute successfully now i am go to my chrome browser as you can see no data are view we can't show any data moment i refresh this page as you can see the all data are appear the data are inserted from backend and entity from our create the specific database and specific tables okay right now i am go to my visual studio so we need to attach a specific jquery script and go to my blog first in my blog and this is a specific cdn link of jquery library go to my visual studio here i am paste this code so i need to attach a specific html button to handle a jquery code just go to my blog and here is a specific html button copy this code go to my visual studio here i am paste this code i just uncommented this line okay this is a specific button so i need to attach a specific jquery function and this jquery function handled by this specific button okay just i'm go to my blog and this is a specific jquery function copy this script section and go to my visual studio here i'm paste this code okay this is a specific html button and this html button have a property class and the name of this property is excel so my jquery function can accept this specific class by using dot operator and redirect a specific server location the server location is home controller and within a home controller it redirect a specific function and the name of this function is export to excel but right now when i go to my controller so is there is no method the name of this export to excel so right now i'm go to my block within a block this is a specific method i just copy this method first okay now i am go to my visual studio this is a home controller right now i am paste this code okay 
just stop this debugging after that i am paste this code and this is a specific expect to excel method just zooming okay and this expert to excel method redirecting another method but this method is missing within this controller so now i am go to my block and this is a specific method just copy this method first after that i am go to my visual studio here and paste this code and this is a specific render reserve view to string method okay now i am fix this issue this is a namespace issue just attach this namespace first okay and using system.io after that now i am build this application it build success okay before i execute this code we need to create a specific view the name of this view is generate excel within this given path okay just copy this view first after that paste this view within this specific folder and just rename this view with a name generate excel okay just open this view just remove this jquery section because jquery section is not rendered by this specific code okay and specific jquery script section now i am build this application it build success right now i am execute this code after the execute it should redirect to specific browser and this is a default chrome browser okay it should take a time and this is a specific data a data has came from database table and this is a specific html button when i click on this it should redirect to and this is a specific exception that means here is a folder name excel file excel file name is not exist within my solution so i just create a specific excel file folder within a solution at just stop debugging after that add a new folder and this name of this folder is excel files okay right now i am again execute this code it should redirect a browser As you can see, and this is a specific data came from database file right now i am click on this specific button the excel file is downloaded that means when i open this excel file this is a specific excel file okay so in this way this is a specific reserve view generate excel and this generate excel are rendered to a specific excel file so how it is possible review this code once again this is a specific non action method okay and the name of this method is export to excel within this method this is a specific file name and i am storing this specific file name with a specific date timestamp and file extension okay and after that specific folder path and this is a string variable and i am putting a server location that means all the excel file are stored within this specific folder of the server this is excel files okay and after that i have combined this file name and folder path and this is a specific variable string file path and after that i am checking if this file exist within the specific server or not if it is exit then it is deleted otherwise this condition is not match okay and after that this is a specific method render reserve view to string and this method take two things as a parameter first is the specific path of view and second is specific model that are bind within the specific view okay when i go to the definition of specific view as you can see the first parameter is view path and second parameter is model and this is a object type okay so first checking this model is null or not if it is not null then the view data class and it has a property model and i am assign this model within this view data object okay after that i am writing a specific using block within this using block right now i am declaring a string writer object this is a specific view engine class what is the purpose of this view engine class the view engine class represent a collection of view engines that are available to the application and it has a property view engines and view engines is the type of view engine collections and it has a method find partial view this find partial view take two things as a parameter first is controller context and this is nothing but a controller context object so what is the purpose of controller context this controller context give the information of http request of specific controller 
okay and this is a specific view path that i am passing first parameter of the specific method okay and i am storing the specific information within a view result object of view engine result class and what is the purpose of view engine result class represent the result of locating a view engine that means it holds the specific information of specific view engine and after that next line and this is a specific constructor of view context class and this constructor take five things as a parameter first parameter is controller context as i told you and second parameter is view result dot view properties so this view result is nothing but a view engine result okay and after that this is a view data so what is the type of view data view data is nothing but a view data dictionary and this is a stem data and stem data is nothing but a stem data dictionary and last parameter this is a string writer object and after that this view result that means this is a specific class this view result it has a view property and it has a render method and this render method take two things as a parameter first parameter is view context and second parameter is string writer object so what is the purpose of view context object this view context object is nothing but a view context class okay and this view context class is encapsulate information that is related to rendering a view and what is the purpose of view engine result class this class is responsible for representing the result of locating a view engine so information that are getting from this specific object that are encapsulated and storing within this view context object and after that this specific encapsulated information are rendered and stored within a specific string writer object the string writer object it has a get string builder method all the strings are builded it return a specific string the return type of this method is string okay now i am go to this upper section and after that this render result view to string this method return a specific string and this string is nothing but a html data and i am converted this specific string within a byte array by using this encoding process and after that the stream class have a object file this file object can read the specific byte array and save the specific excel file within a specific server path okay and after that and this is a specific response object this response object has a content type property this property take a specific excel type content and after that this response object has a add header method this add header method take two things as a parameter first parameter is content dispositions and second parameter is the file name and after that the response object have a method write file and write file take a file path and after that response object have a end method and after that response object have a flash method to download a specific excel file okay this is a specific output when i click on this this specific render view are converted to a specific html and after that is html is converted to specific excel file okay so in this tutorial we learned how to export Reserve view to Excel file without using any third party library in ASP.NET MVC. So this is my YouTube channel. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to like or share my videos. So if you have a comments or any suggestion, please feel free to put a comment box. That's it for today. Have a nice day.